Parents and students at area Catholic schools have been dreading. Yeah, today the diocese will unveil the latest list of school closings. Nalina is following this story from our newsroom. Nalina, this has really not been easy on these families. No, it has not. Many parents are not happy about the way the public, the Buffalo uh, Diocese has handled these changes, but they are coming. Today, students will be sent home with a sealed letter, and then at 3.30, Bishop Malone will announce publicly what elementary schools will close or consolidate. Buffalo's diocese is on a mission to improve Catholic education in Western New York, but unfortunately that means the final bell will ring for some students. It's a paradigm shift and um, the school will be the start. It will be hard for people to understand. After years of declining attendance in schools, a study of the diocese helped baptize a plan called STREAM, meant to help redemption flow back into Buffalo's Catholic education. Which is science, technology, religion, engineering, arts, and mathematics, so that our, we are preparing 21st century students for 21st century rule, uh, world. But some parents are finding it hard to have faith in the diocese plan because they say it ignored their raised hands. I'm very disappointed. I'm disappointed in how, how we've been left out, how we're in the dark. Bridget Pacholik, who has four sons in Catholic school, says even if her parish stays open, it won't be a reason to give praise. To the schools that stay open, they're also, it's no longer the reality of what they chose. There will be new faces, there will be new identities, new faculty, new administration. And be sure to join us tomorrow morning on News 4 Wake Up. Secretary for Catholic Education Carol Kostiniak is going to be live in our studios to talk about all these changes. Jordan. Okay, and I understand, Alina, there's another meeting that's going to be happening tomorrow for parents? Yes, a letter was sent to St. Bernadette school families, at least those families. It states a meeting for them will take place tomorrow in their church. That's at 7 p.m. We'll, of course, work to find out what other meetings could be taking place tomorrow throughout the day. Absolutely. Thank you, Nalina.